Tonight's live is about anxiety and depression, two things so many people are going through these days. I'm going to be covering the true causes of anxiety and depression because it's a mystery, a mystery for so many people. Millions upon millions of people have mysterious anxiety and depression. It's really hard on people. So, but to talk about what people experience when they're living with anxiety, when they're living with depression, and how debilitating these symptoms can be, how it affects your life. You guys probably know somebody with anxiety. You probably know somebody with depression. So let's get down to it. That's what we have to do. Nobody's depression, nobody's anxiety is the same. There's, they're all unique. Your anxiety is unique to you and what's happening inside your body. They're not the same. You just can't classify it. You can't tag it like that. You got anxiety, okay. Well, you got anxiety too. Well, your same, all your symptoms are identical. That's really, really impossible. It's always gonna vary on all kinds of different levels. So I wanted to talk about that too. So that's one thing. I'm glad you guys are coming on. I'm really excited about this to heal anxiety and to heal depression, you guys, you have to have the true cause. I'm sorry, but you have to have the true cause. That's how it works with healing. That's what's so critical. It's like, yeah, if you don't have the true cause of what your anxiety is stemming deep down inside, if you don't have the true cause of your depression stemming deep down inside with the root causes, the root, right? If you don't have that, how are you gonna get better? How are you gonna move forward? If you're new here, I'm Anthony William, the medical medium, number one New York Times bestselling author. You might say, who is this guy? Why should I listen to him? You know, where's his credentials? Is he a doctor? Who is this guy? No, I'm not a doctor. I've said it over and over again. I'm the originator of the Global Celery Juice Movement. I'm the number one New York Times bestselling author of over six books. This is one of them right here, Cleanse the Heal, which is on sale right now, Amazon.com. I have over 35 years of experience working with over 250. 50,000 individuals one-on-one -on -one over the years. Also working with doctors in troubleshooting their most difficult cases. I was known as the guy people brought their bizarre symptoms to from all over the world. That's who I was before social media turned into social media, before you know there were influencers, before there were social media, before all of it. That's what I was known. I had a little shack, has an office. People flew from all around the world to come into my office and say, I got this weird tingling and numbness. I got this weird burning skin. My jaw hurts and I've been to 30 doctors and that's what happened my whole life. So there you go. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about that. And the book's doing really good right now. People are actually really loving the book. If you heard about Cleanse the Heal, check it out. Get it, get it, get it at the library for free. I mean, I always tell people, go to the library, get it for free. I mean, it's changing lives, changing lives. People are getting weight loss from the 369 Advanced Cleanse. People are getting their lives back. People are healing. So it's really an amazing thing. So it really is. Most people in the medical medium community have seen lots of specialists, lots of internists, lots of doctors, alternative, conventional doctors. They've been on a journey seeing lots of healthcare, healthcare practitioners and getting help in many ways. And some people have seen up to 50 doctors. How many doctors have you seen? Have you seen 10 doctors? Have you seen three? Are you a lucky person where you're not so sick and you just got your first symptom or two and you saw an alternative doctor or you saw a naturopath or maybe you saw you know your regular doctor and they did a little blood work and you got a little symptom here and there and you're just starting to embark on your journey of cleaning up your foods and looking on the internet for answers and stuff. If you're in that great position, that's great. But there's a lot of people that are really sick, really struggling. The medical medium information was for those people and has been and got people off of Mattress Island. If you guys want to know what Mattress Island is, many of you guys know. Mattress Island is when you're, when you're in bed and you're in bed too long. You're in bed a lot. You spend a lot of time on the mattress. You spend a lot of time on the couch. Couch Island. Mattress Island. It's not a fun place and so many people have been there and had to find the medical medium information. So, you know, here's a point right here before we go on with anxiety we're going to cover. We're going to cover all the details about anxiety. What kind of different versions of anxiety? What kind of different versions of depression and what the true causes are? Before we go into that, listen, I want to tell you guys, whether you're plant-based, whether you're vegan, whether you're paleo, whether you're vegetarian, whether you're animal protein, whether you're keto animal protein, 
right? Whether you're keto plant-based, whether you're keto vegan, whether you're carnivore, whether you're balanced diet, whether you're intuitive eating, whether you're food combining, or any other diet belief system there is, and there's a lot of them out there, everyone has something in common. Remember this, they all get sick. <laughs> Remember this, they all get sick. That's how it's been, and that's what happens. So, Sure, you might have things under control. You cleaned up your diet. Maybe you're on a plant-based diet, but plant-based people, they quit eating plant-based. They run to eating animal protein. They go start bringing in salmon. They start bringing in eggs. Well, should I be eating eggs? Should I be eating salmon? <laughs> should I be eating turkey? Maybe I need my protein. Maybe that's why I'm getting symptoms. Same thing with the vegans. It's like, well, wait a minute. Maybe maybe beans aren't cutting it. Maybe beans got too much of something bad in them. And maybe I need to start eating animal protein. And that's how it works. Same thing with paleo people. Same thing with animal protein people. They're like, should I go plant-based? What am I doing wrong? Why am I getting sick? <clears throat> and the whole thing is this, is that what we have to understand something is that with the food wars and with the different diet belief systems, everybody eventually gets sick. Either they've been sick in the past, they get sick again in the present, or they get sick in the future. That's what everybody has in common, whether anybody likes it or not. And if you're young and you feel indestructible and you haven't got there yet, you're gonna get sick later on down the road, you know, because everybody does. I talk to doctors all the time, and when I talk to doctors, they're like, they, they'll, they'll say it too. You're like, you're right. Everybody's going to have a thyroid problem later on. Every, you're right, A.W., because you nailed it. You're right. Everybody, you told me that 20 years ago, and yes, everybody's getting thyroid problems. They get them before they turn 30 now. Instead, they used to get them before they turned 50, and that's how it is. So if they get sick, it's, that's what it is. Everybody has something in common regardless of the diet belief system. And that's why there's one thing that's really important about the medical medium information. There's no diet belief system here. So that's one thing to know. So if you're new here, there's no diet belief system because diet belief systems get you trapped and then you don't heal because there has to be something more to that because plant-based people get sick. Uh, vegans get sick. Vegetarians get sick. Animal protein people get sick. Keto people get sick. Everybody gets sick, whatever diet belief system that they're subscribed to or they're, they're attached to. So really important to know that there's not that here. That's the last thing we have going on. Instead, what we have is tools that you can apply and plug into your diet belief system. And that's the whole thing, actual tools and answers. For instance, like the heavy metal detox smoothie right there. So that's the medical medium heavy metal detox smoothie. I made it for dinner tonight, you guys, which I'm really excited about. And <clears throat> talking about the heavy metal detox smoothie, because why? Hmm, anxiety? Why? Uh, depression? Well, nobody knew what causes those until the medical medium books were published, until all that stuff happened. What causes anxiety? What causes mystery depression? Yeah, you got it. Toxic heavy metals, mercury, aluminum, copper in the brain. Toxic heavy metals are responsible for anxiety. That's one of the main causes of anxiety and depression. So then, and that leads to a lot of different conditions, you guys. Bipolar, Asperger's, focus and concentration, ADHD, OCD, all of that. It leads to lots of that, even schizophrenia, all of it. So, I mean... <laughs> You know, and you know what's funny about science and research? You just want to say this before we go into this? Science and research, science and research believes, you know, your bipolar is just a mystery. And they believe that it's just you being up or down. You know, you're just, you're just that kind of person where there's no reason why you're doing this. You're just all over the place. You're either north or south. How about that for a diagnosis? Incredible, all the money in science and research. All the incredible, you know, like doctors and technology that we have today. And the best they have for bipolar is um, we don't know why you're all over the place. Um, sir, uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> ma'am, we don't know why you're up, manic, boom, down, crashed and depressed. Um, we're just scratching our heads with all the science and technology we have. That's what science research has. We're either going to say maybe it's genetic or maybe we'll just say, um, let's see, maybe you need a psychiatrist, try that. And then um, maybe we're just gonna label this, this illness and label it bipolar. What a brilliant label, right? Meaning north and south 
Isn't that brilliant? Oh my God, it's unbelievable. It's an insult. It's really disgusting. It's negligence at its best with science and research. That's just one example of what's happening. And, you know, the whole thing is... It's critical to know why you have a problem and it's in your way and it's impeding your quality of life and it's like in the way of things you want to do. And and we're going to cover that about anxiety. We're going to talk about that in the whole bit. And the whole thing with the diet belief systems is the reason why you won't find that here is because this is about answers and tools. And that's what's critical. It's about how to use things therapeutically. That's what it's about. Medical medium is not a plant-based diet. Medical medium is not an animal-based diet. Medical medium is not any of those in any way which way possible. It's all these answers that can be plugged into someone's belief system to help them recover and heal because what I've noticed and many other people have over the decades is whatever you try, you're still going to end up with a problem and get sick in the whole, the whole thing. There's people out there that thought they were on the best plant-based diet possible and they got sick and then they're flip-flopping. And the same thing with people with the animal protein diets, the best animal pro protein diets possible and they're flip-flopping. They're going to the other side. So it's, it's been like that all along. But here's the difference now. It's getting worse and worse and worse. 30 years ago, the amount of anxiety cases that I used to see 30 years ago were a fraction of what they are today. And that's what organic food here, that's what people switching up their diets, getting rid of fast food. That's what people do in their peanut butter, their peanut butter smoothie bowls. That's what people do in their protein shakes. And anxiety is skyrocketing, even with all the good things we're, we're talking about, we're bringing in. That's what's happening here. It's unbelievable. So. Um, you guys, you know, these things are so important. Feel free to bring what information that you learn here to your doctor and to your healthcare provider, to your healthcare practitioner, to whoever that takes care of your health. Feel, feel free. I'm going to read out of cleanse to heal a little bit right here. Okay. And we're going to talk about anxiety, the true cause, and then we're going to cover through all the different levels of anxiety. And you might know somebody that's dealing with some type of anxiety. So we're going to cover the first type of anxiety in a minute, we're going to go into emotional anxiety. Like, what is that? Emotional anxiety. So we're going to cover that too. Um, support. The pause says, this is amazing. I'm, this is amazing you're here. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah, the mono diets. Have you guys checked out the mono diets? The Silly Siberians said the mono diets. Incredible, right? In here. The medical medium mono eating cleanses. These are really great. These are really great. And it's not only bananas, though. It's not just bananas by themselves. But check that out if you get a chance. Um, Cheryl Lane, yes, no canola or vegetable oils. You know what? People looked at me like a flying saucer just landed behind me. And I had 10 heads back 30 years ago when I was lecturing a health food store and saying, no canola oil. You guys have no idea no, you shouldn't be doing canola oil. All the vegans, any vegans that existed back then, 30 years ago, were drinking the canola oil. And I was like, no canola oil, no canola, canola oil, right? The whole bit. And then all of a sudden, what happens now after that, plus publishing it, someone will hear the canola oil's bad. And then they'll be like, oh, Anthony, he just, he didn't know about, he just, what? Everybody knew that. No, no one knew that back then. It's incredible. It's one of the, that's one of the advanced pieces of information that I brought to town 35 years ago, 30 years ago, which it was no canola oil. <clears throat> and that, you know, when the first book came out, Medical Meeting first book came out six years ago, and I said no canola oil, everybody was like, what? Where? Huh? What? <laughs> it's just funny. It's really funny. I love it. I love it. Um, let's go to page 490 real quick. We're going to cover this, and then we're going to go in depth into anxiety and depression. And we're in Cleanse to Heal right now, you guys. I mean, look, it's Amazon.com, $16.99. It's 51% off. I mean, unbelievable price. Um, get a book for somebody if you know if they if if you know if they can't afford one or something, or tell them to go to the library and get it for free. In Australia, the book's in the library. I just I on Facebook last time I was live, somebody said that. They said, No, you can get the books free at the library. And you know, right in Australia. I couldn't believe it. I was so psyched. <clears throat> so Let's go into this a little bit here. True cause of anxiety. When anxiety interferes with your life, is anxiety inter interfering with your life? Like, do you have, like, any of the anxiety symptoms? Because I'm going into it in depth in a minute. Is it interfering in your life in any way? It's caused by toxic heavy metals. 
such as mercury, aluminum, and copper. Hey, maybe you're somebody and you're like, okay, now I know the answer. Let me, let me go and hop on the internet. Um, toxic heavy metals causing anxiety. First of all, if it even is on the internet and says that, it came from here. But most importantly, when you go, you might see a whole bunch of things like um, Corella can get my metals out. Let me go and do that. Um, activated charcoal can get my metals out. No, eh, no, eh, bad, no. Corella can't get metals out, you know, worth the life of it. It can't get metals out of somebody. Activated charcoal, terrible to take. Terrible to take. Internally, a terrible thing to do. And activated charcoal internally, with anybody who has bloating, gut problems, gut issues, sensitivities in the gut, inflamed intestinal linings, gallbladder trouble, liver issues, stagnant sluggish liver, lymphatic issues, taking activated charcoal, epic disaster. Uh, just so you know, and it won't remove toxic heavy metals because it doesn't. There's no proof. It never had. There's no study that can show it actually grabbing metals. It's one of those those bad ideas. That's number one. Corella. So you're other. Oh, Anthony says toxic heavy metals is behind my anxiety. Let me go on here in line. Oh wait, Corella. Yeah, nice try. Corella. This is terrible. Bacteria in almost every one of those different batches that are out there. I've seen Corella barrel people like get them so sick where they're in the hospital vomiting and diarrhea for days at a time and the doctors are like I don't know maybe you got food poisoning I don't know no Corella bad bad and you'll still see influencers today with all the work I've done try to let people know that it doesn't get it doesn't get metals out and all the work I've done all these years still see a new influencer that's remember because no one knows what's going on another five years later there's all these influencers that are being told Corella and they're just out there saying, I'm taking my Corella, got it mixed up here in my drink and my smoothie. It's like, first of all, no metals are gonna come out. Second of all, terrible for you. And I know, listen, I know it's got nutrients in it, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying that's where it goes wrong, these other avenues. And activated charcoal, awful. So that's a couple of things too. So toxic heavy metals such as mercury, aluminum, and copper, okay? And viral issues. When it comes down to anxiety, depression, a lot of times there's a viral issue involved. So we have to know that the, the Epstein-Barr is one of the most infamous viruses I talk about. I mean, that's the one that actually is behind a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety. Now, you don't even have to have any, any EBV. You don't even have to have EBV symptoms, which nobody knew existed as far as the symptoms go until the publications of Medical Meeting Book One, but and how that works. But the point is it's, it's a combination of both Epstein-Barr for a lot of people and toxic heavy metals because here's how it works. If you're viral and you have it in your liver and it's low grade, it's been there for decades, it ends up feeding on foods. And what its favorite food is, is mercury. Mercury, aluminum, copper. So when the viruses feed off of mercury, they go to bathroom. Yes, viruses eat. That's advanced medical information ahead of science and research. And when viruses eat, they release a toxic heavy metal um, byproduct. So it's called a neurotoxin. That neurotoxin floats around and goes to the brain. It short circuits neurotransmitter chemicals. It lands on neurons. It saturates neurons, causing varieties of anxiety and depression. You can have that going, but you don't even have to have the viral issue. You can be without the viral issue and be straight toxic heavy metals, straight mercury in your system, straight aluminum in your system. Oh, I don't have mercury in my system. There's no way. I don't have, oh, I got had a mercury test. I don't have mercury in my system. Yeah, you do. Everybody does. It gets pass, passed on from generation to generation <clears throat> and it settles in our organs, deep in our organs. So it's really important to know, like our brain settles in our brain. And I'm gonna talk about what it does there tonight. Like, why do we get the anxiety? And, you know, the whole thing, no one knew viruses and toxic heavy metals are behind anxiety depression that never existed anywhere except for medical medium information. So if, you know, it never existed anywhere else, but you're gonna hear about it more because of millions and millions of books from the medical medium series have been circulating around the world and so people get a little tidbit here and there, like, oh yeah, metals. <clears throat> Somebody might say, metals might be behind that. Metals might be behind ADHD. Metals might be behind brain, brain fog. It comes from the medical medium literature, medical medium information, um, and it's behind mystery depression. Toxic heavy metals are behind anxiety. 
you have to have the metals there. So I'm going to talk about also the best stuff to use. Like I got the medical medium heavy metal detox smoothie right here. So if you want to get metals out, this is what you got to do. And I'm going to talk about, talk about how and, and everything and what we, what, you know, I put in here with spirit compassion and I put in here the whole bit and how it works. And in the book, the heavy metal detox cleanse. So then you can learn how to get metals out that way. I saw comments recently on some of the lives i saw comments in some other places people leave on the youtube if you you know check out my youtube right and people say their anxiety has dissipated has just disappeared when they did the heavy metal detox cleanse when they did the heavy metal detox smoothies when they do the medical medium information that they got rid of horrific horrendous anxiety that was crippling but there's thousands of people that have gotten themselves recovered and got their lives back with anxiety and depression over the years, really over the years. I hope I'm not running this by you guys too fast. I'm talking a little quicker because you wouldn't believe how much I have to be covered tonight. So <clears throat> so um, we have, we have an, almost an hour, so let's do it. And, you know, the whole thing is it's not just removing the toxic heavy metals. It's repairing the damage Here's something to digest right here. Here's something to take in, you guys. When a toxic heavy metal sits on a neuron in your brain or sits on organ tissue, it saturates that organ tissue, okay? It ends up burning a hole, and that's what it does, a microscopic hole, because it, by, it, it has byproduct. Metal oxidizes inside our brain and body. It's advanced medical information from, um, from the medical medium information. So, and what it does is when toxic heavy metals oxidize in our organs, whether it's in our liver, whether it's in our brain, whether it's in our spleen, anywhere in our bodies, when it oxidizes, it leaves residue that's toxic behind it and it starts to rust out holes in tissue. It damages cells tissue is what it does. When toxic heavy metals sit on a neurotransmitter, meaning it destroys it, weakens it, dehydrates it. When a toxic heavy metal sits on a neuron, it weakens it, it short circuits it. So when you have, when you have electrical impulses firing all around through the brain that are supposed to keep us focused, on spot on with our everything you know able to articulate able able to communicate able to talk able to have fun able to kind of feel excitement able to actually all these things and multitask and to be on our game and to be down on like totally going everything going great and how we feel focus concentration like boom all of it with all of that when our neurons are saturated with toxic heavy metals and those electrical impulses that are firing in our brain hit those neurons that are, that are saturated with the metals and it hits the metal, it short circuits. It weakens the electrical impulse. And then we're like, I got, I don't know, I got some brain fog. I'm a little more tired. I really, and I'm just, I, I got some anxiety. I, I can't sit still. I, I feel like, I don't know, I'm kind of clammy palms. I don't want to really talk to this person. I feel like I can't get my words out right. Um... I, I'm just, I feel like my skin's crawling. I want to jump out of my skin. Um, I can't focus. I, I just need to do something I like to do. I can't do this stuff I don't like to do because what I do, I just get totally out of it. Like all these different things, you know? And when someone asks anything of me, I just, I'm not responsive. I can't come up with an answer in time. I can't really, you know, focus on what I'm saying. When I stand there and somebody's talking to me, I'm trying to think about the next thing I'm going to say, but I don't know what I'm going to say. And all of these things happen. These are just, I'm just going over a couple little things. So we're going to cut into it. Let's go in just a little bit more. So in this book, Cleanse to Heal, I talk about supplements and dosages right here for helping to repair injuries caused by these toxic heavy metals causing depression and anxiety. <clears throat> so um kale says what if you have anxiety depression acne fatigue all of the above okay what you do is you take the symptom that's bugging you the most this is what i would do this is just what i would do i would go to cleanse to heal <clears throat> or you can bring it to your practitioner or doctor and i would go and i would take the symptoms that's bothering you the most is fatigue bothering you the most and then i would go in there and I would do the fatigue thing. Like I would look at the protocol. I would take a look and look at everything in the back of the book, okay? <clears throat> and 
That's what I would do. And I would learn what the true cause of your fatigue is. And that's what I would do. I'd be like, what's the true cause of my fatigue? Because I want to know. I want to know the true cause of my fatigue. And once you do that and you start applying what's in cleanse to heal for your fatigue or having your practitioner or your doctor friend or anybody that you have helping you apply it, you notice other things start to go away. Like the acne will start going away, anxiety starts getting a little better, depression starts getting a little better. That's one way to go at it. And you could also go at it individually. You can go with the anxiety, you can go with the depression. So let's talk about emotional anxiety. So let's go in there next, you guys. I'm going to read comments too. Um, does high dosage of vitamin C really good? High dosages of vitamin C kill viruses? That's really in, in a great, a great question here. You'll see in the supplements, in the protocols, and the dosages, you'll see the vitamin C, and you'll see there's vi the medical medium vitamin C shock therapy. Well, that's there for a reason. <clears throat> so it's really important to know. So, um, and and the micro C is the one that I like the best. Just looking at your comments, I don't want to try. I don't want to miss too many. I want to catch what I can. The micro C is actually the one I use right here. So there's different vitamin C's. So yeah, we can use the term vitamin C, but if it's not a really good one, how much is it doing? Is it knocking down viruses? Vitamin C does a couple of things, okay? High dosages does help kill off viruses. And that's why I've been recommending it for years and years and years and years. The, the medical medium vitamin C shock therapy is there for a reason. But what vitamin C is somebody using? What kind of vitamin C is somebody using? That's a whole nother game. So the micro C is the one I use. That's my favorite. I'm not sponsored by this company, okay? There's a lot of companies like, you know, Wyman Blueberries is the one I use for my heavy, heavy metal detox smoothies. It's the Wyman uh, Wild Blueberries. I'm not sponsored by the company. I don't own Wyman's. People ask that all the time. They think I own Wyman's. I get questioned on that. There's even articles out there about, does he own Wyman's? You know what I mean? I don't own Vimergy. Um, but yeah, best vitamin C right there. It's amazing how many stories go around, but people just buy the BS. They just, meaning they, they believe in any story going around. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Anything you put out on me, it's just anybody will just bite it and be like, oh, it must be true when it's not. It's unbelievable. Um, and I stand behind that. So lemon balm is a big deal. So lemon balm, the Vimergy lemon balm is important too. I'm going over some of these. I'm looking here. So just bear with me a second, you guys. One of the one of the most like incredible things that I've like recommended over the years and so forth, and I talk about it in cleanse heal is the lemon balm, all right? The lemon balm for anxiety is really helpful, but you know, and, and I love like if you go into the anxiety section in the back of Cleanse of Heal, you'll see the dosages of lemon balm. This is the Vimergy lemon balm, it's the cleanest, it's the greatest. And you know, people say to me, they're like, oh, why do you like Vimergy, right? Okay, well, how about this? They're the only company, or the only company I've known, or know, out of all the companies I know out there, because I'm always wanting the best for people out there, the only company that independently gets every single product tested for toxic heavy metals. It costs a fortune. That's why companies won't do it. That's why companies won't do it. And every single product they get independently tested. That's the difference right there. You might hear some company like that. There, there's a lot of people, you guys, that troll medical medium channels listening to me because they're competitors in weird ways, like authors that do medical stuff and all that. They just get upset and jealous about all the advanced information from the med from medical medium books and so forth. But there's people out there that are like, um, well, and then they'll, they'll, they'll hear me say this company is independently tested by metal. So then they'll tell people they'll get, they won't do it independently, but they'll, oh, we test for heavy metals in one of our products. We test for heavy metals. It's just a scam out there 24 seven. But this company independently checks, tech, gets, sends it out and gets it tested for toxic heavy metals. Costs a fortune. That's just one example. You know, and I'm saying that because a lot of people say supplements have metals in them. You know, I mean, you know, that whole thing. Yeah, bad supplements do. Anyway, that's incredible for anxiety that I've, you know, that that's what I would do. So panic attacks, that's what I'm talking about. And I like the lemon balm for panic attacks. I don't have panic attacks, but if I had a panic attack, that's what I would do. I would be doing the lemon balm and I would be doing the dosages. Personally, that's what I would do in cleanse to heal on that. That's a takeaway right here that's important because it's one thing to talk about the causes of anxiety, which I'm gonna go into. It's another 
to actually have a takeaway of what can I do? What kind of, what tool can I use? <clears throat> and so that's important. So in the supplements in, in uh, protocol section in the back of Cleanse to Heal, you look up anxiety, you'll see there's lemon balm like as one of the listed supplements. So that's what I would do. And um, nerves get inflamed with anxiety. So here's the other thing. The most critical nerve that gets inflamed with your anxiety is your vagus nerve. That is the big one. The other nerves that get inflamed with you that are inflamed and are behind anxiety are your phrenic nerves. Your phrenic nerves run down in through, down through your neck and down here like this. They run like that. Your phrenic nerves, what they do is they light up. They get, they just light up. They get inflamed from both neurotoxins from viruses and toxic heavy metals that are feeding the viruses. So these nerves, these phrenic nerves get inflamed. And when they get inflamed, you're, you, you light up. You're hypersensitive. You can be triggered easy. You can be like, you can, you can get emotional easy. You can, all these things, it can throw you in a panic attack. Your vagus nerve can tighten up your throat and make you feel like you're, you're choking. Your, your, your vagus nerve can tighten up your chest make it hard for you to breathe and you feel like you got anxiety and you feel like you're hyperventilating or even not even just that you feel like you have tightness of the chest and it's it's hard and if you even focus on your breath it's why it's why there's two kind of sides to the story when it comes down to meditation this is an important point so you guys hear this okay if you can all right um if you got the patience for a second meditation okay does help some people with small bouts of anxiety like small bouts of, of, of anxiousness or anxiety, okay? And it does, and that's why I love meditations. But for the most majority of people suffering from anxiety, they can't meditate. They, they, if they sit there and they focus on their breathing, it, they go into panic attack because their nerves are inflamed and nobody knows. So then somebody would be like, oh, you're just, you're just too, you can't do it, you can't, you can't focus, you can't do that, you know? Um, Hey, there's Miranda Kerr right there. Flynn says hi. Tell Flynn I said hey. <laughs> Miranda Kerr is an awesome friend of mine. She's the best. She's uh, on there. Great to see you tonight. Incredible. Um, tell Flynn I said hi, and I love him. And um, so, you know, it, it's amazing how it works. And our phrenic nerve, our vagus nerve, all three of those nerves, they light up. So when you're trying to do your meditations, it's difficult. 90% of people with anxiety like real anxiety issues, not just calling it anxiety, and it's not, but real anxiety issues can't meditate, they can't do breath work, because it'll throw them into a panic, it'll increase their anxiety, they're really struggling, and I'm gonna go over the different levels of it. That's why band-aids like meditation and band-aids like breath work are great, and they're great, and I, and I always, for years, 40 years I've been saying definitely do those, and I even have meditations I talk about in the books and, and I'm gonna put out more too in, in the future. But the point is, is we gotta get down to the bottom of why somebody's crippling anxiety. Their throat tightens, their chest tightens, they can't breathe, they go into you know spasms, they go into panic, they can't sleep, their mind is racing, their thoughts are racing, they're you know really struggling, all of that. So, you know, it, it just, it, it matters to know this information. This is about taking control over your life. Samantha says, thank you for all your information. I'm very grateful. I'm grateful you're here. Thank you for being here. And I'm proud of you for anything you're doing and applying anything. I'm so proud of you. And um, okay, look, so so Len in the, height, the Light says, definitely can't meditate and I can't breathe. So you totally get it, right? Well, 90 plus percent of people suffering with any kind of anxiety and depression. But here's the thing. You know, meditation gurus don't know this. They don't know this. They think you're just not maybe thinking positive enough or there's some other emotional thing happening in you that makes it so you can't meditate. What people don't realize in the spiritual movement is why I got so popular back. You gotta remember, you guys, meditation has been around forever, okay? And, and it's a helpful band-aid, but it's been around for a long time. When my office was filled in with thousands upon thousands of people traveling around the world to my offices, years and years ago, they tried all that. They, they tried retreats and meditations and, and, and all the different levels. And unless you know what's wrong and how to fix it, 
and get the right foods in you, the right tools. Get the metals out, get the viruses down, rebuild the neurotransmitters, rebuild the neurons. Unless you know how to do that, it, you know, and then you don't have to manage and manage. And, you know, and I'm not talking about light anxiousness because of emotional stress. I'm not talking about that. Like when somebody goes through an emotional hard time and they got that anxiousness and they got that mild anxiety because they've been through a lot and they have anxiety, you can meditate pretty easy for the most part with that. I'm talking about viral anxiety. I'm talking about swollen vagus nerve anxiety. I'm talking about phrenic nerve anxiety. I'm talking about neurotransmitter burnout anxiety. I'm talking about neuron burnout anxiety. It's these things. And, and that's why I was so known too. It was like, oh my God, I tried everything, but what can I do? And there's real answers. That's what we need to talk about. Um... Yeah, okay, so uh, 777 Trickster, the nervous system feels unsafe, which is what causes anxiety. Nope, that's not what causes anxiety, and I don't think that's going to get anybody anywhere. <laughs> but, <laughs> I mean, I'm not making fun of you at all. I mean, it's totally cool to, to feel that way and be like, well, maybe the nervous system feels unsafe, but it, that doesn't make any sense, you know? Um, but listen, stay on, Trickster, stay on, and... Watch the rest of this live because we're going to cut into everything, okay? And <laughs> it's important to know. Um, so, you guys. All right. So, let's go. <clears throat> Somebody said this makes so much sense. I just saw there. Right lemon bomb is journey. X, XXOO. Lemon bomb is a lifesaver. It really is. So, let's go into this. Let's head into here, you guys. Um, so, I'm ready when you guys are. So, there's emotional anxiety. Emotional anxiety is is kind of like, is what I call emotional anxiety. So check this out, all right? It's like, you can't put your finger on why you really feel this way, right? You're not sure if you're happy. You're not sure if you're upset. You're not sure if you're sad. You're kind of like not sure if you get mad. You're not sure if you're really frustrated and you get lonely really easy. Like, <clears throat> you're like on the street walking and you feel like lonely already and you see other people vibing out there and you're like, you know, feeling like you're missing out on something. Maybe you feel like you're missing out on something on life. Maybe you want to go do something and maybe you want to go somewhere and you feel like you wish you could, but maybe you can't in that moment. Maybe you need to, maybe you feel like you need to be someplace else. Like you're not in the right place in your life and you need to be someplace else, right? Maybe you feel all that at the same time, but yet you also feel like you want to stay home and you want to curl up in bed and you want to just curl up in bed and be in your comfy sweats and just kind of hide away and watch your favorite movie, eat your favorite comfort food, but yet that doesn't make you happy either. And then you feel kind of anxiety over it. You just ate your comfort food. You watched your favorite movie. You got some peace, but yet you can't really find peace. You feel like you're missing out. You want to connect with some friends you used to know, and you're kind of all over the place. And when you do talk to a friend about it and they ask you what's wrong with you, you tell them that you have anxiety. You know, and or they or they tell you you have anxiety where they talk to you and you're like talking to your friend and your friend's like, I think you have anxiety or and you know, and this is really mild. And the funny thing about this, it's not funny, but you end up it ends up leading into like going full force into something. This type of anxiety ends up pushing you into full force to take care of yourself like. I'm gonna take care of myself. I'm gonna, it's like, I'm gonna exercise, 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 exercise. I'm gonna make my smoothie bowls, make my smoothie bowls. And you feel like full force into it. And you're like going full throttle. And then all of a sudden it could flip to that, to no self care at all. Where you're just all self care because you're feeling these feelings and you don't know why you're feeling them. And you're trying to get into some meditations because you don't know why you're feeling them. And you're trying to like explore spiritual stuff because you don't know why you're feeling them. And then you're pushing it full throttle and you're exercising, you're eating better. And then it flip flops and it goes boom into no, no self care. And you're doing nothing at all. Like you're back in your sweats. You're in your, you're in your bed. You're depressed a little bit. You're sad. You're not sure. You're frustrated. You feel like you're missing out on something. And that's one very mild version of anxiety, but people have it. I totally, you know, here's another mild version. You can't sit still. You feel like there's just something creeping, you know, like in your body. You feel like you're, you know, there's something creeping up your spine and you, you can't sit still. And, 
you know, you're just, you have to keep moving. You have to keep moving. And there's that kind of anxiety where you feel like if you slow down and you slow down, it's just, you know, and it's, it's all of a sudden it picks up a little bit more. Here's another version right here of anxiety, a mild one. Thoughts are racing. Did you ever have that? Do you know somebody that has the racing thoughts anxiety where it's like you can't control the thoughts. They're racing. It happens either when you wake up first thing in the morning really early. It happens right before you go to bed. It happens during the day when you're even trying to focus. You're trying to concentrate on something and you're just your 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 thoughts are just racing you know that's a whole nother thing too and it makes you feel upset and uneasy inside and you can't focus on anything else here's another mild version of anxiety i talk about all the time you feel like screaming <laughs> you just you feel like screaming i know it sounds like not a mild one but it could be a serious version too um but it's a mild one too when it's not really serious where you don't scream but you just feel like screaming. You feel like going outside and doing that. That's a mild one too. Um, here's a mild one too here. You feel trapped where when someone is talking to you. So you feel trapped when you're like someone confronts you. Someone talks to you. And you start getting a headache and you start to sweat. And you, you feel like your mouth gets too dry. And you feel like your legs are a little bit weak. And you can't, you feel like you almost turn into like a jellyfish or a ball of jelly Why somebody's talking to you and you're standing there and they're talking to you and they're draining your energy and you feel trapped. That's another form of anxiety that happens too out there too, you guys. Let's talk about another one. Here's one that you feel like jumping out of your skin. You feel like a strange tickle inside your body and you just want to shake it out. You know what I mean? Like I was just doing this now. And you feel like you want to jump out of your skin and at the same time, you're frustrated and you're getting angry and you want to cry all at once. I don't know if you guys ever experienced that, but so many people where they want to cry, they feel angry, they want to jump out of their skin. Here's another one right here. And I'm going pretty quick, you guys, because there's so much to cover. So you might want to watch this from the beginning again. Um, you can't sleep at night. So how about that version? You can't sleep at night where it's hard to fall asleep because you don't feel safe, you know? Like when you go to bed at night, you don't feel safe. You're not excited about tomorrow. You're not in inspired about life. You're not inspired about the next day. You're stressed out about tomorrow and you're dreaming a lot when you're sleeping and your dreams aren't happy ones and your dreams aren't really that peaceful. So you're frustrated as you're dreaming at night and you wake, but you're not looking forward to the morning. And when you get up in the morning, you kind of wake up scared or a little spooked and you feel insecure about your day and you feel insecure about what you're, what you're going through in your life. So that happens too. And just so you know, a lot of people have mixed versions of this. That's what I mean. There's no definitive one version, only anxiety, and that's what it is, and everybody has the same thing. No way. It is so many different varieties. You could have it mixed, all these different things. So let's go to another one. The one where you can't communicate and you're numb, where your hands get sweaty, your armpits get drenched, and you get kind of numb. Your arms and hands get slightly numb. Your temperature fluctuates where you feel kind of a little bit of chills, but you're not too hot, you're too cold. And it's that where you get cold easy and you kind of shake. Here's a moderate form of anxiety here that I've always seen all these years. Um, and and uh, check this one out too. Hard to drive in the car. You can't sit in the passenger seat. You feel like jumping kind of out of the car. You feel trapped in the car. You want to get out. And the person who's driving you is somebody that you, you care about or you love. Or maybe it's somebody that's annoying you and you carpooled with somebody. But... And you just feel trapped and suffocated in a car. And every time you're like in the car, you're, it's, it becomes this phobia where you feel claustrophobic in the car. You feel like it, it gets, you get confused. You can't handle overstimulation. If someone turns the radio on in the car and they're blasting music, if it's not a song you like, it makes it worse. And you get overstimulated and you get just like, oh my God, I can't handle this. Somebody said... Yep, all the above. So Hammer Monique says all the above. Yeah, totally. I, I, I believe you 100%. And um, here's another moderate version, tightness of the chest. Do you get that one too? Is, is that the one you get too, the tightness in the chest, right? You get tightness in the throat, tightness in the chest, um, locked up in the stomach. You can get locked up in the stomach. So that's a whole nother one too. And that kind of chest tightness 
um, that kind of like throat tightness, um, tightness in the back, tightness in the shoulders, a back of the head. When you get tightness in the back of the head, that one right there, you know, you guys, so there's that. And so the reason why there's so many different versions, it's because you get the viral issues, the shingles, the Epstein bars that nobody knows about. I talk about and cleanse the heel, and then you get the toxic heavy metals. By the way, I have the heavy metal detox smoothie right here. And you know, Miranda Kerr, who is, who's, who's on watching tonight, she does the medical medium heavy metal detox smoothie. That's what she does. And, um, you know, I like putting more orange juice in mine right there. It's fresh squeezed orange juice. And it's so funny because Miranda puts this fresh squeezed orange juice in there too. So anyway, um, this is on sale, by the way. Here's another version is you feel scared. You're feeling scared, but you don't know why. And your mind is trying to find out, like, why am I so scared about everything? Like, why am I scared about life? Why am I scared about anything like I, I can't handle news I can't handle someone delivering bad news to me which isn't even that bad I can't handle somebody delivering good news to me either I can't handle someone delivering like any kind of news and there's that whole thing too and um, that's a hard one for a lot of people where you just get spooked easy your heart races easy every time you think a thought and your heart starts picking up, you know, and every time someone's about to deliver news, even if it's good news, you got some like PTSD with your anxiety all combined and your your heart races when someone even gives you good news and you get scared and you get spooked easy and the whole bit, it's critical to know what's going on. It's why people who have Lyme disease have all these anxiety symptoms because it's viruses and metals. That's what Lyme disease is. I've said this all along and it's why, um, it's why it's it, that that's a reason all on its own. So plantar fasciitis, you guys, that's that's viral, and I talk you know I talk about that in cleanse the heal too, um, and that's a viral issue. That's that's plantar fasciitis is mostly Epstein Barr. I've seen shingles pop in a little bit too with that one too. So tightness in the stomach, that's a different kind of anxiety I talk about where it locks up in your stomach it's gut wrenching it feels like your stomach's flipping where you feel like your stomach's flipping there's that kind right there and that's the whole tummy problem where i can't eat i can't eat there's no way i can get food in here there's no way i could put food in there um <clears throat> and it's all of that too um look that's a really good question right there i love questions like this um sherry lane um uh, sherry lane sorry how how can I tell heavy metals are coming out with heavy metal detox? The heavy metal detox um, smoothie right here, that this like this one right here, and the heavy metal detox cleanse is you improve and you improve and you improve over time. A lot of times it's three steps up, two steps back, three steps up, two steps back, three steps, and then you're stronger and then you're stronger. Now you're doing a whole bunch of things you didn't expect you were even doing. And now you're pushing it hard. You're like, what happens with a lot of people, you guys, I'm gonna lift this right here for some reason. Um, sorry, some reason I'm adjusting the whole thing there. And there, so what happens is that it's three steps up, two steps back, three steps up, two steps back. And you, you improve and you improve, but it all depends. Are you doing the heavy metal detox cleanse when you're getting the fats low in the morning? Are you doing other tools with it? And, and are you doing supplements for your condition? So do you have anxiety? What condition do you have, um, um, Cheryl Lane? What, 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 that's the whole thing. So it all depends. Are you working with some of the supplement protocols? There's hundreds and hundreds of different protocols in the Medical Medium Cleanse the Heal book and in Medical Medium Information. So what avenue are you customizing for yourself to get better and to, so you, that your heavy metal detox smoothie works for you more and more and more? And each person has metals in different parts of their body. They'll have metals in different parts of their brain and in their liver. And there's thousands of different combinations to think about. So really important to know. And you can customize your own protocol to get better. But how you know? Well, you know what the same way so many other people, thousands of people know, is they get better. And they're doing their heavy metal detox smoothie and they're getting their lives back. So let's talk about another moderate version right here. Tightness of the stomach I talked about before, which makes it hard to breathe. Shortness of breath. You feel like you can't get a breath in. You feel like you can't breathe. There's that version. Um, moderate, another moderate version is short circuit of the brain. Brain fog. Can't think clearly. You go blank. Just boom, blank. And you can't think clearly. And you got the brain fog. You can't remember what you were, you were talking about. 
or you're trying to remember and you're trying to bring it back and you, you then you get frustrated and you just start breaking down there's that variety where the neurons are short circuiting and that that's why i like the celery juice i don't have a celery juice with me right now i think someone said he doesn't even drink celery juice even though he what are you kidding how many times have i showed you guys a glass of celery juice <laughs> and or sipping celery juice um so and then you know tongue turning black by the way that's metals coming out that in and you can have the tongue turning black when metals are coming out and you can have the tongue turning black when you're overloaded with metals oxidizing without them coming out it can be both ways you can have Met, you can have the black tongue, which means you're high in heavy metals, which means your metals are oxidizing. That's what the black tongue is, okay? And you can also get the black tongue when you're pulling that stuff out. Um, I think somebody just asked for how much. The book is $16.99. It's a medical textbook. It's really packed with information. Amazon.com. Um, get it, you know, overseas and stuff. Get it free at the library, whatever, as well, too. So, um all right, let's let's keep on going, you guys. We've got more to cover. Uh, let's roll. <clears throat> um, a moderate version. You wake up scared. Your heart rate. Your heart is racing. So I don't know if you guys had that where you wake up in the middle of the night, your heart's racing. So you wake up in the middle of the night, your heart's racing, and you're frustrated, and you get up, and now you're pacing. Um, that's a version right there I talk about, and you feel like you're wired, and then you can't fall back to sleep because you're spooked. And then you're spooked about everything in the middle of the night. So there's that version right there. Um, and there's a version you feel like you can't be in your own skin I talked about, but a serious version of that where you feel like you can't be in your own skin. You don't feel safe. You don't want to be alone. But yet when somebody's around, you don't want to be with them either. And you're all over the place. That's a version that's really hard to. You guys, there's so many different of these. So I'm trying to get as much as I can. Um, the panic attack, the severe versions where you get the panic attack, your chest gets so tight, you feel like you're dying, you can't walk, you can't move. Sometimes it puts you right on the floor where you're laying on the floor and you're just doubled over and you're really struggling and suffering and you're having that massive panic attack right there. That's a tr tricky one where you feel like your lungs don't work. You feel like you can't get a breath in or get a breath out. You feel like your chest is expanding. You feel numb in your extremities where you're completely numb everywhere in your body. You feel like your legs are weak. You feel like if you wanted to get up, you couldn't even get up and run. Um, that's inflamed nerves. That's pathogens and inflamed nerves. That's viruses and inflamed nerves right there. So that's a whole version all in its own. So I'm covering all the things. I know I didn't cover depression. Some, so the silly Siberian said, yes. Yes, it's not in your head, by the way. And that's something to know. Anxiety is not in your head, even if your thoughts are triggering it. It just means your nerves are so hypersensitive and inflamed from the metals and the viral issues that yes, your own thoughts can trigger it. So that's why I love positive thoughts. I love all that. Of course, God, we need that. But the point is, is I've seen anxiety so bad, positive thoughts trigger it. That's how inflamed your nerves can get. This is all medical medium information. Can't get this information anywhere else. It's why the medical medium community grew so big over the last 35 plus years. Um, for, the chronically Ill, for the chronically ill, it's the largest community and safe space for the chronically ill if you're new here. So there's all kinds of different things where that was the one I was talking about where stressful thoughts can actually make it worse. Anything stressful because your nerves are already inflamed. They're already lit up. Your phrenic nerves. Your, your vagus nerve is already a hot spot because it's inflamed from toxic heavy metals. It's inflamed from pathogens and viruses like the like how I described earlier. So when those nerves are inflamed like that, all you got to do is get jarred. All you need is some bad news. All you need is to think bad thoughts. All you need is to think good thoughts. And you're just now you're just feeling anxiety. You can't. And then you're trying to tell yourself, I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, or I don't know if I'm dying. And and now you're at like different doctor's offices looking for different medications. It's really difficult for so many people. Another version of, of anxiety is you're nauseous and you can't eat. You just can't get food down. You're so nauseous. You can't get food down. Your family members don't understand. Um, nobody gets it where, you know, they you got an eating disorder. You got an eating disorder. You know, what's wrong with you? You can't eat. Meanwhile, you got anxiety is what it is. Um, Trisha Marie, 75. Oh, my God. Dot, dot, dot. You are explaining this perfectly. That is what happened to me with the numbness afterwards. Um, I'm sorry you're going through that. I'm sorry you went through that. It's It breaks my heart to know that, like, 
I care about people, you know, and that's the whole thing. And the more and more I care about people and the more and more I want you guys better, the more flack I get out there, you guys wouldn't believe how it goes. The more and more people want to stomp me out and silence me, it's crazy. Because you're really not allowed to get people better. You're, you're just supposed to play this game, maybe some food science game or write some books that don't get anybody anywhere in health and regurgitated information you pass around over and over again. You're not allowed to get people better. And medical medium information actually gets people better. And let me tell you something. There's some bad people in the world that don't want people healing, you know, in the industries. And medical medium information has saved countless lives already. And it pains me to know that you actually went through that, that you're go you, you went through those symptoms and you suffered like that. And the more and more I care and the more and more I fight for you guys and fight for the underdog and, and all that, the more and more BS gets put out there, stories aren't real, this and that happens, pay trolls go on. Oh my God, the pay trolls. The industry's, you know, amp up those pay trolls 24 seven, it's incredible. And they got every trick in the book, like, oh, I tried medical medium and it didn't work. Oh, sure. You tried it, you tried the hundreds of protocols, you locked down your customized protocol. Sure, you read the book. But by the way, you guys, there's over 200 symptoms and conditions in here. And um, I, you guys, I love fighting for you guys and I'll tell you why, okay? Because when, I'm, when I wake up in the morning and I know so many of you guys are suffering out there and you've been through hell and back and I know you can rise out of those ashes. I know you can rise out of the ashes and heal and move forward. And, you know, and I'm never going to stop fighting for you guys because I know that you've been struggling and suffering. And people with anxiety, man, they're not treated good. They're not treated good. And I've seen that over and over and over again. And you guys, I'm going to cover more on depression. One thing about depression, I'll cover a couple of minutes of depression, though, with depression is the toxic heavy metals play a really large role in depression. And you got to get the metals out because when the neurons are saturated with toxic heavy metals, it weighs down the electrical impulse to the point where your neurotransmitters start to dehydrate. They start to not get used properly. They don't ignite. The neurons don't work right because electrical impulses are hitting metal and we get that deep depression and everything and, and all that. And I'm going to cover, you know, I'm going to go to Facebook Live and I'm going to cover depression there. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, Miss Cabra says, you got me better. Bless your heart for, you know what? You probably worked hard for it too with all the information. Cabra, yeah. Um, yeah, so, Cabra. Um, trying to look for your comment. I thought I saw it. I got two monitors here, you guys. It's funny. I got one with the comments on one side, one with the comments here. I'm just... I'm going over the Facebook right now. I'm going to answer lots more questions is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm proud of you guys. Seriously proud of you, all of it. Um, thank you, Anthony. We live and appreciate you in spirit of compassion. Bless your heart. I'm blown away by you guys. Over four years, MM for life. Darcy Lee, you're awesome. Thank you. Anthony, you helped me so much. I'm blessed to have been able to be graced with your spiritual knowledge. I'm so beyond Nikki Vanna. Nikki Viana. Hey. Awesome. Spiritual knowledge and beyond grateful. God bless you. Nikki Viana. Incredible. Um, okay. I'm going over to Facebook now. You guys, we got a lot more to cover. Bless your heart. Take care.